Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to episode 21 of Europa Universalis 4 as Japan. Things are going well now, we've actually managed to take a big bite out of Korea. That gives us some provinces on the mainland where we can put our troops, which will make it much easier for attacking people like Korea and uh, Yeren in the future. And also at some point we'll probably end up going after Ming, or certainly we'll at least start trying to pick off some of the little individual nations that have already broken free. Now, I know a few of you have said that I should sort of colonise up here and head towards Alaska. I do intend to do that, but we've got to remember we don't want to expand too fast because it will... You know, these, these provinces are rather sort of poor. And if we expand too fast into these provinces, it, it's basically just going to end up um, costing us... Uh, sort of money to set up our colonies whereas our colonies are probably better spent down here where the provinces are more valuable and of course if we do manage to colonize into america admittedly that doesn't cost us any admin points because we don't have to call but it will end up forming a colonial nation which maybe isn't quite as useful to us at the moment as actually having some land that we can call our own that said i will probably try and at least province uh, uh, colonize the coastal provinces along here because that will help stopping uh, especially russia will help stop it Russia from being able to uh, get a coastal province with a port on this side and colonize uh, America. So that is part of the plan. So we'll probably end up taking these provinces along here and then that will probably be the end of it for a while. Again, I'd love to get all of these little island chains here, but there's, there's so many of them, so we'll really have to see about that. Now, obviously, there's a lot of terra incognita here. So what I would like to do is get myself another explorer and go back exploring. This is one of the things I dislike about the new exploration system, is that if you don't have an explorer, you don't know whether or not you can actually do any exploration missions. So the problem that I have at the moment is that I would actually have to... Um, hire an explorer just to find out whether or not I can do an exploration mission, which is a little bit problematic, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's go ahead and get ourselves um, three barks. We'll go and just put them over here somewhere. The rest of that naval fleet will go back on to protecting trade in Nippon. Now we've got a fair bit of money coming in. Uh, what I am going to do at the moment is I'm going to reduce down the maintenance for the army. It doesn't need to be at full maintenance. I mean, it's not costing us a huge amount of money, but it doesn't need to be at full maintenance at the moment. Uh, we could spend some admin points to reduce inflation. It is quite high. Let's go ahead and reduce that a couple of times. We'll probably at some point need to get... Um, now, there is an idea group, which I can't currently remember. Um... Economic ideas. Economic ideas does at some point allow you to... Yeah, yearly inflation reduction, um, 0.1. Interest per annum. I'm sure there was one that's, that offset it completely. Maybe... Uh, I'm sure it was economic ideas. Anyway, it'll be ideal to get that, especially having a gold mine. Uh, we could take military drill to get plus 15% morale of armies. Really good, but we are behind on military tech, so we want to head towards that. And we don't want to actually go ahead and expand too quickly because we're, we're really falling behind on tech, and that's a problem playing as the, uh, the Chinese tech group. Uh, we are behind on our number of uh, troops that we can have and our naval force limit. Obviously, we don't have any manpower really at the moment, so we can't really um, increase the army force limit. We will go ahead and get ourselves some more barks. I think we got, we've got three heavies now. We might even go up to five at some point, but uh, I certainly think we would like to get ourselves at least uh, a few more light ships just so that we can help protect trade. We've got a little bit of money that we can spend doing that, so let's just go ahead and um, grab a few ships. And then we may, we may get one or two more heavies. Now, we are above our number of relations here. We could have another rival, actually. I'm not too... Yeah, we don't want to rival Ming right now. Um, who are who do we have that makes us too many? Probably Yeren. We really want to sort of break that... Um, the, breaking the alliance is no problem, but we need to try and break the royal marriage. So it's pretty much going to rely on our leader dying. He's already 43, so it probably won't be too far away. Once we've broken away from Yeren, we can actually fabricate... Well, we can already fabricate claims on them because we share um, we share a border here. We share borders here. So we've got a few of their provinces that we can um, fabricate on. That's not even Yeren, is it? That's uh, Jonzu. It's this one over here. But yeah, again, we can still fabricate on a few provinces. Have I already done so? 
Uh, no, I haven't at the moment. I probably should. Let's go over here and start fabricating, because at some point, the alliance will end up dissolving. So let's go into our covert actions and start fabricating claims on their provinces. Now, we've also got this province up here that we could take. Now, it's not that useful of a province. We could still grab it, though. It wouldn't cost us an awful lot. We don't have any men up here, so we would have to get some men over on the transport fleet to be able to do that. Um, can we declare war on them? Uh, we don't have a CB against them, so let's go ahead and fabricate a claim over here. And then when that's done, we can consider moving some of our units over there. Most of our men at the moment are actually over here in Korea, just sort of protecting the place. Now then, uh, I did get these uh, three ships over here, but I never actually managed to go ahead and get them an explorer. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll get an explorer. It will cost us some diplo. Uh, he's, he's, he's okay. He's an explorer. And we do have some more missions we can do. Great, that's brilliant. So let's think about exploring... Well, let's let's explore the waters of California. Let's go and start finding America. And at least it'll help us keep an eye on any of the Western powers and see if any of them have managed to get over there. Obviously, they're not going to be on the West Coast yet. But if we can find our way down to Central America. Gain 5 prestige or gain 10% spy offence. Not really bothered about the spy offence. I know Spy Offence does make things like um, fabricating claims uh, quicker, which technically means you've got less chance to get caught because the fewer months you spend fabricating, the less chance you've got of getting caught. Um, but I never really use Spy uh, you know, spy offence. I would never really bother uh, with any of the idea groups that give you increased spy offence. It just seems useless. Um We've got a dead general. That's a little bit unfortunate. How many leaders are we allowed to have? We're actually allowed to have three, which is not bad. So we could get another general, but we don't need him right now. We've got one fort, which we're currently keeping fully maintained. I don't even necessarily think we need to do that. It costs us a ducat per month. We are making money, though. We could save half a ducat if we unmothball it. Korea have a... I'm sure Korea still have a truce with us for five more years. So, yeah, we can afford to go go and um, mothball that fort for the time being. So, that is absolutely fine. Now, then, we've got a little bit of manpower in the bank. We could actually think about getting some troops. And what I might do is I might actually just queue up a few troops up here so we can use them to go to war with these guys. And this way, uh, we don't actually have to worry about... Um, we don't actually have to worry about shipping any units over there. So that's going to be okay. And again, we are still trying to wait for our manpower to recover. So we've been discovered fabricating, but that's fine. We don't mind that. Natives rising up. Of course, that all costs us manpower as well. We should beat them easy enough. Oh, that was a very close fight. These natives are very, very tough. Maybe we need to um, maybe we need to put our ma army maintenance up just a little bit more. Maybe that is just a little bit too low, bit un of an unrealistic expectation for them to deal with the natives. We can invest in a new technology. It will give us a new type of infantry as well as giving us more combat width and military tactics. The extra military tactics is always nice. Combat width isn't all that useful because if you if you are in a battle with somebody else they take the combat width of whoever's got the highest. So it doesn't mean that I automatically get to use a, a larger combat width than my opponent. But it's certainly still a nice thing to have. New cavalry and new um, cannons on the next level as well. Uh, but we're going to go ahead here and we will take the next level. As you can see, um, there aren't all that many to choose from. There is a certain limit of, of units that you get uh, in the Chinese tech group. So... We definitely want to continue growing. Now, how many men do you have? You're actually quite battered there. Um, theoretically, you should be 4,000 men strong. You don't have an awful lot of morale. It should recharge quite quickly. Hopefully, those natives won't pop up uh, really early. So, we've got some more of these light ships now. Let's just get them all in uh, swell or swell. Um, okay, we've been caught fabricating claims again. That's fine. We don't really care. So we're just basically putting these ships to use. You are going to protect trade in the Nippon node for now, and everyone else should group up. Now then, how many more ships can we have? We can have one more. 
I don't see any real downside into getting one more heavy. We are going to need a little bit of naval superiority later on. Not massive amounts. I mean, mostly we just want to be able to stop units from landing on Japan. Because we don't really have an awful lot of forts, obviously we'll need to protect this one. And it might even be worth getting rid of this fort completely. Um, I usually say that I like to keep put, um, keep forts like this because it stops people from being able to quickly siege out all of the provinces. And it's good because if they've got their army on this fort trying to siege it out, I can land somewhere else and come in and attack. That said, if they end up taking this fort, then it costs us a lot of um, war score. And also, if we try and take it back from them, we've got to fight against our own fort. So there's pros and cons to it. But ideally, we want to protect our capital. We certainly don't want them coming over here and, you know, um, raiding all of our provinces, or at least... Um, sieging all of our provinces so if we've got a, a decent enough navy that we can use to sink any ships particularly transports the ai is particularly bad uh, when it comes to naval landings because it tends to just send transports without escorts so if they send 20 transports with 20 regiments of troops and we've got five heavies we can just go and roll over them quite easily so let's continue fabricating claims over here yes it does give us a little bit of ex uh, aggressive expansion that's a map mode that i haven't even looked at on uh, this playthrough really because nobody really cares i mean yeah korea's got a fair bit of aggressive expansion against us ming doesn't give two hoots jane Su doesn't care less um and that's basically it. the only person i'm annoying is korea and we don't mind that so we have gone ahead and got our claim up on the natives up there now i've got six thousand men it's not um that's not to be ignored so we do need to get a few more troops up here before we can do anything. Let's make sure we have a couple more, um, couple more infantry, and we can get another another cavalry. We don't actually have enough manpower to get one more cavalry. That's disappointing. So we'll unpause. We'll wait until next month. Three hundred and twenty-one. We will have enough next month to get one more cavalry. There we go. And then, of course, we'll have to go up to full army maintenance. We've lost another general. Oh, no. At least we have managed to go up in military tech anyway. So at least uh, that means we can uh, spend a few military points to get a general. Are we ahead of time on military tech yet? No, we're actually breaking even. But we're massively behind on admin and diplo. So we really need to try and get up there. Uh, what is our current focus on? We're not actually focused on anything. We could focus directly on diplo just to try and catch up. It might not be a terrible idea, but then again, we're taking away from admin, and we're also behind on admin. Could we afford a better advisor? Well, we could do. We could afford the yearly prestige advisor. It's 5.9 ducats monthly. It would be nice to catch up in terms of admin. Hmm, do we want to do that? What do we get on our next admin level? Courthouses. Not exactly brilliant. We're probably never going to be ahead of time for the production efficiency. And diplomatic technology is the least important. I think we'll just leave it as an even spread for the time being. Uh, what is our net, our air going to be like? We're a 234, so we're very military heavy. Our air is 333, so he's average across the board. So I think we're okay at the moment. So we're just waiting for... Uh, been discovered again. That's fine. We're just waiting for all of these units uh, here. Let's go ahead and move them all up. So there we go. We have uh, we have six regiments. Let's go and just bump the maintenance up to full. We're not. We weren't saving all that much. We we didn't really have a lot of. Um, we didn't have a lot of units to begin with. It's, our armies aren't all that expensive. I was going to say are you moving because you're moving quite slow. I was quite sure the game wasn't paused. So we'll wait until they get there. We'll hire a leader. Hopefully we'll get a fairly decent general. And then we'll go and attack these guys. And we should get some money from them as well. Uh, we've converted some heretics. Do we want to convert somewhere else? Well, I guess we do. We don't have religious unity. Let's go ahead and start converting. Of course, it might cause us a little bit of unrest, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, are you guys actually going to get there at any point? Uh, we have lost a claim on Gizhiga, which I'm assuming is a Korean province. Oh wow, there's there's lots of um, lots of Korean. Well, it wasn't uh, Korea. Either way, there's a lot of Korean provinces that we don't appear to have claims on. We definitely want this one because I think that's still part of our trade node. Um, 
So what did we just lose a claim on then? Can't remember how it was spelt now. Can't even remember what the word was. <laughs> what the name of the province was. Oh well, never mind. Not all that important then. Oh, I wonder if it's on my uh, log. No, not on that log. Where is my messages? Uh, best guess for neighbours. Yeah, no idea what that was. Oh, well, never mind. I'm sure it wasn't something that we really needed. We'll still continue to fabricate on stuff. So, let's get back up here. Let's group these guys together. We're at full morale. Let's go ahead and hire ourselves a general. Don't need a conquistador. He's not bad. Look at that. 331. Doesn't have any maneuver. But it's a good general nonetheless. So let's go in here and declare war. We don't want to call in any of our allies, so we're just going to go ahead and declare war. And uh, we've got, we know that our fort's mothballed. Not important. Let's go ahead and just move straight in here. Now, they do have a general. Obviously, we're not going to get a stack wipe here, but we'll do some damage. Probably uh, well ahead of them in terms of tech. They're tech 8, we're tech 9. We're only just ahead of them in tech. I think they are still Chinese tech group, yeah. I know, I do. I always check because there are some nomad tech groups around here. If you start looking at um, guys like, oh, no, they're Chinese as well. I know there should be some nomad tech groups around here. Yeah, Oirat's nomads, so there are, there are nomads close to us, but not these guys. The natives are actually Chinese tech group. So even though we've got the um, we've got a river crossing penalty and a terrain penalty there, I wasn't aware that there was a crossing. It doesn't look like there's a river on that map. Either way, though, we won the fight. We didn't have a lot of men left at the end of it, but we did manage to win that battle. Now, they have a capital fort, so we will have to go and siege to that. I don't know where they're going to head to, because they don't really have any um, provinces that they can travel to. They're just moving into uh, our province. See, now they're, they're just getting to siege. So we'll have to go and deal with that. Now we're, we are crossing a river. Um, do we want 50 admin power, or do we want money in the treasury? I think we'll take the admin power, because again, Chinese tech group, handicapped by that. And uh, we'll get some money when we defeat these guys. We'll take them for all the money that they have. Look at that, they've already occupied the province before I could get there. So once again, we get a river and a terrain penalty crossing, and they managed to roll nines and stuff like that. And we didn't manage to take them out this time, so we'll make sure that we uh, recapture our province. I could just go try and chase them straight down, but it would be nice to get a morale tick. Of course, it means they'll get a morale tick as well. Uh, but we have managed to regain control of our province. This is costing us a little bit of manpower. But of course, we'll just go over there and um, stomp on them, hopefully. Oh, there's the river there. It's all... I bet you can't even see that on YouTube because I can barely see it. But there's a very light blue line that runs down the middle of this province. It's almost invisible. I can only, it's not like these ones that are really easy to see, but this one here is it's almost... As, now, you can see it now. It's just gone dark in the fog of war. That river's now far easier to see. However, it looks like we're fighting on this side of the river, so I'm pretty sure we didn't have to cross it. Again, we just rolled a zero. They're rolling nines. They're rolling eights. Fairly standard. I'm just going to go and chase straight down now. I'm not even going to wait... Because otherwise, they're just going to come down here and siege again. Uh, they're not going to get a morale tick before they get there. So we should be able... Mm, I don't know, actually. They might get there... Bef no, we won't get there till the 10th of July. So they will, unfortunately, get a morale tick. It takes so long to cross between these provinces. It would be nice to just stack wipe them. We lose 10 army tradition. Wonderful. Well, I'm not going to click that button until this fight is over. Not that it makes a lot of difference. There we go. We actually did uh, stack wipe them. So now we can come over here. Providing we can get there before they raise any more troops. They're not going to be able to raise any more troops. And things will be good. Ships. Can we have another yet? No, we are at our force limit. Did we ever get that heavy? We probably did. Yes. Let's go ahead and mothball it and group them up. So it'll save us some money. 
I guess our explorer is still out exploring, so we can't really do an awful lot about him. They did manage to actually pull another unit there, although we should stack wipe it. Yep, that's it. Okay. We're, we're fine now. They're not going to be able to raise any more units there, and as soon as we siege them out, we'll have 100%. So we've got some money. Do we want to go and build any improvements anywhere? Production efficiency could be useful. There's not an awful lot that we'd be able to squeeze out of most of these provinces. There's the odd one or two that's not bad, though. We get 19 from you, 23 from you. And, um, you know, pretty much puts us out of money. I think we'll, we'll save on that. We can grab another idea, which would be an admin idea group. Now, we get another colonist. Now, getting another colonist would be really good for us because it would allow us to colonize two provinces at once. The downside of it is we need to split our armies because we need to deal with two colonies. And also, there's the additional cost of forming the colonies. But I think we need to do it. That said, we are behind on admin tech. Though the admin tech isn't all that useful, and we are moving towards grabbing uh, reformed land holding, which will give us more manpower. Uh, naval force limit is nice, and permanent CB against primitives. I think we will carry on with this. We'll get ourselves another um, colonist. I'm not going to use him just yet. I'm going to wait until we finish this war so we can get some more money. Um, we could also repurpose this army up here to um, colonize this province. So I think that's what we will do. Uh, and then once this province is colonized, we might then just colonize some of these ones just to stop people expanding it would also then give us uh, another border with um well a border with um Buryatia so that we can start fabricating some claims against them this war shouldn't go on for too much longer now we have a seven percent chance of grabbing the fort obviously it's not going to happen on this uh this one because seven percent never works unless you're the ai but i think we will conclude this war on the next video so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you are still enjoying this playthrough of eu4 if you have liked the video please consider leaving a like and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and remember if any of you would like to support myself and the channel i have a completely optional patron account and the link to that is in the description below the video so until next time goodbye for now